All right, what's up, guys and gals and Duel Links players alike? XP Chronic back at again. Once again, we get another amazing video, and as promised, I'm gonna be doing a match with Dragoonity. And I say a match, but really, we're gonna do multiple because I want to really show off the deck. At least a lot of combos we can accomplish. Now, I'm not going to do this in a KC Cup because I've already played enough of the KC Cup. I'm at 19, and I really don't feel like going and trying to do a very intense duel. So I'm just gonna go into ranked. This deck, I have been using a KC Cup, though, because this is the main deck I use, okay? I don't use anything else. I have purely used Dragoonity. Nothing else. I have tried nothing else in this. I don't even run Blue Eyes, so you can't even bring that up. I hate Mass Hero, and Yubel is just a meme of a deck now. But yeah, this is the deck that I've been using, and really, it counters majority of all the decks you're going to end up seeing or going against in the KC Cup. I went against Blue Eyes, I went against Ubel, I went against Mass Hero, I went against, uh, what's, what's another deck that I've went against? Ubel, Blue Eyes, Mass Hero, Vampires, that's the other one. And none of them can really beat the deck unless you end up bricking, and you don't brick too often with this deck. Now, there are ways to beat the deck that I'm currently using, but really, if you're going against Blue Eyes, Dragoonity, not Dragoonity, um, Blue Eyes, Vampire, um, mass your own stuff. They're not gonna be running him at all. So you don't have to really worry about anything. I think we're gonna get the spellbook deck. Probably, most likely. Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, cool. We're not. But um yeah, this is the deck I've been using. It's insanely good. Something like this, I really hope doesn't get nerfed, because it isn't that they're broken. It's all about the way people can play them, so if this were to get nerfed, I'd be very sad because they're probably going to target a lot of the level 6s, mainly one that can be special summon. Not going to talk about it too, too much, but um, yeah, that would suck in my opinion, like really badly. Now, can you abuse this deck? Yes, and all I see is the synchros being abused, so if anyone wants to go ahead and limit a card, if Konami wants to go ahead and start nerfing this deck... Go for the synchros, not the main monsters, because I don't want this to end up like the, um, what was it, for hire, where you barely have any actual for hire monsters in your deck nowadays, because all of them have been limited and semi-limited. But this is one of my go-to combos, summoning into this card, special summoning my wing beast, and then putting this card back on field. Now watch what I'm going to do. So, I don't know what he has face down. I don't know if he just gave up the match. Hopefully he did not. Hopefully it's just connection error. Okay, so... I'm gonna go ahead and go into my... Not really my boss monster, but... One of my boss monsters. I got two in the deck. One's a level 6, one's a level 8. If you know what the level 8 is... You've obviously seen me play Dragoonity or someone else play Dragoonity. I have not seen anyone use the same combo though. So I've seen no one use the exact same combo I do. Not this one, but going into another level 8 monster. And I don't know why. It's perfect for Dragoonity. There's really two monsters that guarantee you a Synchro Summon into that monster on your first turn. If you can draw those two monsters. It's crazy. So, I am going to target the monster. I was going to target the back row, but hey look, if it's Econ, he's going to switch something to defense. And I could really care less. As long as I have a monster on field. Plus, I highly doubt his hand is to his liking right now. So, we might actually just get off a victory here. I'm guessing you're going to target... Man, what What are you doing? Are you sure about this? So, that's one of my combos. Literally, very easy to do. Most likely, he's going to try to force draw into maybe Silent Magician. Slam into this monster. Um, summon it into level 8 if he is running Silent Magician. He's running Synchros though with Tricky, and I don't know what he could possibly be planning, but maybe he'll somehow get a victory off of this, off of 200 life points. I'm really curious to know what this guy's running. But, um, yeah, basically, the level 8 monster you want to go into on first turn against every deck Blue Eyes, 
which well it's optional with blue eyes but i say go against it with blue eyes but yeah against you bell vamps and mass hero you want to go into this level eight that's simple it's simple as that uh what's he tributing into what you tributing into buddy want to talk about it what is he doing okay he's gonna tribute Huh. Now I'm actually curious on what that is. Okay. Alright, I mean, I guess so. You know what? I can do with this. Okay, so this is a level 8 monster, guys. This is a level 8. You need one Stardust Dragon or this deck will not work, okay? And what I mean by that, you go into Stardust, and I actually could do it instead of making you guys wait. You go into Stardust first turn. And you're protected against being destroyed or any of your monsters or cards being destroyed as long as you have a lot of back row. And I run a lot of back row in this deck. If I draw into it, I'll show you. And if you want to know exactly why I'm running in a deck, make sure to watch the end of the video. And I'm definitely going to do an in-depth guide on why every card is there. But, um, yeah, this might be a victory. Yeah, GG. So he was running Buster Blader. Interesting. That's a rank up. A one up right there. But, um, yeah, you want to go ahead and summon, um, Stardust Dragon first turn. There is nothing else you need to be doing but seeing if you can start a Dragon first turn. That's it. And why, you may ask? The simple reason. If you're going against Ubel and they go into Incarnate, it negates Incarnate's effect. If they go into Nightmare and attack you, it negates Nightmare's effect. If they use Nefantis, it negates Nefantis' effect. It just stops them. It stops them all out. And against vampires, if you go into Stardust first turn, they can't blow up your monsters using that freaking annoying field spell, Vampire Kingdom, with um Grace. They can't blow it up. They use Grace effect, send a card to Graveyard. They try to blow up a monster. You negate it with Stardust and bring it back during the end phase. And against Mass Hero, doesn't often happen, but they try to Treacherous. Don't know why. They want to let you Synchro to Treacherous and then Mass Change the monster before the treacherous actually hits but yeah it kind of just messes them over because they negate because you negate it you negate it obviously but um yeah this really is to stop vamps and what was that one you bell vamps and you bell are completely stopped by this deck and there's nothing else to it you guys should be running it's like 24 7 I don't know what you could be possibly using, but I'm going to go ahead and go into my Stardust Dragon. It's good to have a strong start. Most likely he's going to be using maybe Buster Blader. A lot of people have been using that, and I don't know if you guys know that, but um, it stops Dragoonities because the majority of them are Dragon types. Now you can't get past it if you get a well-placed Econ, because you do have Wing Beast in here, but it doesn't awfully happen. It doesn't happen that often, okay? Don't think it's gonna save your life but a well-placed econ against buster blader and you can put them on your side of field activate all your effects i've actually activated my other level eights effect um i forgot his name it's like borsa or something like that dragonity and what i've done i've taken their buster blader tributed it synchroed into my level eight and literally banished all oh wait wait i didn't banish it but um his effect is that you can send the same number of cards that you send to your graveyard from your opponent's extra zone. So basically I sent every copy of his Buster Blader to the graveyard, including a Paladin, and he just gave up on the match. He knew he wasn't going to win. It was just something that was really funny that kind of happened. But yeah. Okay, so hopefully I get my level 4. I didn't get my level 4, but you know what this will do for the moment. So let's go ahead and do that. Put that right there. I'm going to summon this. Why did I summon that and not have any other card attached to it or anything? Well, I'll tell you guys. It's because being that I have Stardust on field, I have to worry about nothing. There's nothing I have to worry about. about um, actually, there is. The only thing I have to worry about is a Wall of Disruption and a Drowning Mirror Force, but we'll get to that later with your... um. Equips fell. So, 
Let's see what I will do here. I think I can just do... I'll do the Melmanon damage. I don't need to do the most damage. Just need to do some... Alright, so he most likely will add a warrior to his hand. Let's see who he adds. He didn't want to know what we'll be going against. What will we be going against today? Oh, so it's blue eyes. A blue eyes, eh? Majesty is face down, I'm guessing. Alright, so we got some easy damage off. If he goes into spirit, I'll be in trouble, but it isn't like I'll lose, okay? Like, I still have a pretty decent chance if he does go into spirit. But this, the hand wasn't really too, too good, so we might just get a loss to blue eyes if I don't draw into, like, a couple good cards in the next two turns. Oh, he's still on defensive. Okay. Alright, I understand. This is fine. This is fine. But it is not fine for you, buddy. It's already over. Start saying your prayers. And this is why you run the one Galaxy Cyclone. Only run one. You only need one. You only need to draw into a whole bunch of them. You just need the one to stop certain things. Oh, man. I feel bad for you. I really do. So, if I were to attack and he's running blue eyes, most likely it's going to be a very low-level blue eyes cord. So, maybe like um Protector or something. So I should be good to attack with this monster and in the duel. Let's go ahead and bring out my level 2 tuner. Then I'm going to special summon it to the field. Not going to synchro into anything, but I'm just going to have it there for the attack. Go into my battle phase, attack with this guy. Blow up his face down. Oh man, GG. Boom and boom. Second victory against Blue Eyes, he ended up breaking pretty badly, in my opinion. He didn't draw into anything that he could really use to go against me. But yeah, going to start us first turn, you usually protect everything that you have on your field. Simple as that. So, we'll do maybe one more. Maybe two more, depending on um, how fast the next victory will happen. And I'll call it there, I'll go ahead and go into the guide. Because I really want to go ahead and show you all the cards I use in the deck. I have made changes to it since the video that you guys saw. But it isn't anything major, literally. I switched out two cards, and that's it. As in, I took one out, added one in. And all I did was literally add in... I can't remember. I'll have to show you. It's none of the spells or traps, though. I think it's one of monsters or something. Or maybe it is one of the spells and traps. I can't remember. I'll show you guys after this, so. Alright, so let's see what I draw into. Hopefully something really good. You know what? This works. Especially since I'm going second. This works a lot. Now you'll see what I mean by that. The only thing that can make this even better is if I draw into level 6. If I draw into level 6, I have literally won the duel. He's not going to be able to stop me. Aliens. Oh man, bad day for you to play aliens. Because I'm not letting... Oh man, I feel bad for this guy. I don't think I'll be able to end the duel with one attack... But definitely, I'm about to do a lot of damage. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I feel bad for you. Lux just isn't on your side today. Luck is just not on your side. Alright, so boom. Boom. Go ahead and do that. I'm not going to econ. Even though I could, I could easily econ. Bring this card. Go ahead, put him on field. I actually kind of messed up. Man, I messed up. Ah, that was not the card I wanted to add. It'll work. It'll work. I'll just econ. So, I wasn't planning on econing, but it turns out I'm going to have to because I messed up on my combo. Isn't that amazing, guys? Isn't that amazing? It's pretty amazing, right? Yeah. Or, you know what? I could possibly synchro. I was trying to sneak around to him and blow up my opponent's um, card, but I think this will work. Yeah, this will work. Nothing I haven't done before. Don't normally use this monster, but I guess I'll use it for now. 
Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna put that face down. Put this face down, attack him. I'm not gonna use my effect. Because I'm just gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep my card in a graveyard. Because in a case that he does try to attack me. And he doesn't put any A counters or anything on me. But he can destroy my monster. I'm definitely gonna go ahead. Send my, um, my beast. Not beast warrior. My wing beast to the graveyard. And go ahead and have him slam into my high attack monster. And the field should be fairly empty after the fact. Oh, this guy is, is he running UA? Are you seriously running UA? So, if you're running UA, that means you're probably going to go into Slugger. He's going to have to go into Slugger. That's what UA always do. They always go into Slugger. If he does, I'll put in defense. I think I'll have enough defense even with this monster to blow him up. If not, I'll econ it next turn and I'll be done with it. So let's see what happens. Yeah, so it is Slugger. So, very simple. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to um, defense. He's going to have to cycle out another card. I kind of messed up again, though. A lot of mess ups in this duel. I was supposed to do it before the battle phase started. That way you couldn't swap out a monster. You just have to swap out another monster. He's going to just go ahead, summon into Dunkard, and go back into Slugger. Or that one into Slugger again. God dang it. Yeah, that really sucks. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This guy went into Dunkard. Okay. He's not the smartest. He definitely is not the smartest. So, I can easily activate my effect right now, make him slam into his monster. And I think that's just what I'm going to do. Boom. That's over with. That's in a graveyard. It's over with. It's done with. Time to go in and attack him. Possibly for game, because most likely he had, um... forgot that card's um, name, but, um... What was that card name? Uh, dang it, um, penalty or something. Pen it's something about penalty. Hmm. So, here is what I need to do. Hmm. That will not be game, but it'll be close enough. I did bring out the wrong card though, so eh, I can't get another copy of him. So I'm gonna summon in this guy. I could easily go into Stardust. Not gonna do it though. Uh, let's see what I can do here. Yep, the only ones I can do, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Attack him for a pretty hefty amount of damage. Maybe he'll negate something. Maybe he'll blow up something. Oh, man. Now, going into Slugger, he's going to gain 500, so it's going to be 2,700. So he's going to have 100 more than my current monster. Unless he's going to go into Dunker again or something like that and, you know, attack me, which most likely he's just going to go into Slugger. I won't be able to stop him, but is he going to try going into another Dunker? Is it? Like, is he really going to try going to another dunker? If he goes in a slugger, he'll win. At least, he'll win this turn. I'll still have my next turn. But if he goes in a dunker, I'm just going to end the duel by blowing up his dunker. Okay, he is going to go in a slugger. Oh, so he's going to go 2,800, so he's going to have a lot more than what I have. Okay. Guess he's trying to decide who to attack, if he wants to do the most damage or take out the one monster. My effect can't activate, so he'll be safe to attack me. I can't do anything. I just hope this isn't a symbol of me losing, because if I don't draw into my level 4 next turn, 
I don't think I'm gonna win this match. He's really contemplating what card to attack. Okay. I mean, hey, you do you. You do you, sir. Let me draw to level four. Okay. Game, we gotta talk about this. I need my level four. Okay, I'm gonna throw this back. Let me draw to level four. God dang it. Okay. Mm, in a bad situation. Very bad situation. We might actually get our first loss because I screwed up at the first um at the start of duel. So yeah. That's what you get for screwing up, guys. Like, if you're playing a deck, really know what you're doing. Don't rush it, because if you rush it, you're going to end up like this. Your opponent's at lower life points, but he can somehow make a comeback because you messed up. He's going to obviously go into um Dunker and attack with Dunker first. So I'm just going to blow up his Dunker, and I'll be done with it. That would be a smart thing for him to do, because he can do piercing damage. But his slugger's still gonna get attack in, which is the only part that kinda bugs me, you know. It kinda really bugs me. Unless he thinks for some odd reason. Oh, he's gonna actually go into another slugger. So yeah, that's GG. That's how the cookie crumbles. Because of one mess up. One mess up, guys. That's what happens. Put the wrong cord as a quip and went to the wrong synchro. Sad day. GG though, I call that good game. Oh, he's gonna penalty, so. Oh, he didn't go into another slugger. So we're still in the game for the moment. He didn't go into slugger. Nice. But he did activate anti-magic arrows. Okay, so yeah, that's GG. So I guess I'll go ahead and edit right there. And I'll go ahead and show you guys the deck. Because I want to go ahead and get this guide done. Because I don't want the video to be like 50 minutes long or something like that. That's going to be hell for me to try to um, render. So, um, yeah. First loss out of two victories. We had a pretty good winning streak going. I ranked up to four. The deck's very, it's easy to use. And I say use it. You may have seen me mess up. That is not because the deck is bad or anything. That's really on my. That's literally my fault. I, I messed up really bad. So let's go ahead and go into deck editor. And if you're running, if you have to run it on Bandit Keith, you don't. It's not character specific. You can run it on anyone. I've run it on Luna, Trudge, um, Bandit Keith recently. I've also run it on Seto Kaiba. There is no specific character to run this deck with, unless you guys find something that's completely broken like that um trick up your sleeve stuff. But um. Yeah, this is the deck. Oh, yeah, that's what I changed out. I did have another Divine Lance, and I took out one of these guys. But I realized I wouldn't draw into him enough for my um, combo, as in summoning my Ackley's, going into my Multium, and going into this person right here, my real boss monster of the deck. And if you don't know what that does, when this card has a equip, you can discard that equip and double its attack. So this card goes up to 3,800, and you also get to blow up a card on your opponent's field because of this guy's effect. So that's one of my combos. Another combo is to summon into this guy, tribute or special summon into this guy, Equip him with this, bring this guy back, and go ahead and go into your Stardust. Or if you want to do a three-play combo, if you have Multium and Arma in your hand, along with Divine Lance, you summon Multium, equip him with Divine Lance. Oh, I'm messing up a lot. Okay, so you summon Multium, equip him with Divine Lance. Now you use Divine Lance's effect to equip... Multium with Phylaxin. And what you do from there is you have Phylaxin on your field normally. As in you use Phylaxin's effect to special summon them to the field. Tribute into Arma. 
as in you special summon into Orma, equip him with Phylaxin again, put Phylaxin on field again, and you synchro into Stardust. So at that point, you have Multium with Divine Lance and Stardust on field. AKA, if they try to blow up anything, you negate it with Stardust. If they try to activate something like um, Drowning Mirror Force or Wall of Disruption, it won't affect the Multium. It'll only affect Stardust. So it works hand in hand. You have two. You have multiple ways to protect your field. So that's really all the combos that I have for it. Now I do have this guy who I don't go into often. Actually, I don't even think I can go into him now because I took out a um a five star. This is before the video. I took out a five star that would not a five star, a six star that would let me go into this one. Which, if you do go against um, if you go against Buster Blader and you summon into this guy and somehow get Buster Blader either on your field or off the field or negate his effect, you can literally send every copy of Buster Blader and any other cards in extra zone to the graveyard simple as that it completely stops buster blader usually if you do it they'll instantly surrender to duel they won't even try to fight you i've done it once or twice not often but when it does happen it's pretty funny because they literally just give up on it now going over to this person right here gaia or gale or whatever his name is bulge bulge right here you don't go into him often he's like one of those cards that you probably only see every 50 episodes in a Yu-Gi-Oh show. It's like, hey, you know what? We forgot about this card. Let's use him in this episode. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you never probably ever use him too much. I mean, I used him because I ended up going into a wrong synchro. I was supposed to go into this guy, but I messed it up. And going into your back row, it's kind of a troll. It's literally, in the case you actually end up bricking... You can stop your opponent by just having your entire back row being able to blow up something on your opponent's field. It's literally just for the fact that if you brick, you're going to brick into something that can somehow save your life, you know? So I'm running two armor and two widespread ruin. I'm running two econ because it's a very easy win if you can econ take a monster and attack your opponent. And I'm running one galaxy cyclone just for the time I end up drawing into it and there's some kind of back row on field. Like, let's say they put one and I draw into Galaxy Cyclone. Go ahead and blow it up. And also, it's for, in the case you run into Amazons. Because if you run into Amazon, they only can run one, um, what, what's that card called? They can only run one Amazonist Onslaught. So, this can take out Amazonist Onslaught very easily. That's the only reason you really have it. Maybe you can target, um, the Vampire Field spell, but I've never really done it. Because I always have Stardust on field. But yeah. That is the entire deck. You, like I said, you don't have to run on a specific character. I'm just running on Bandit Keith because I feel like leveling him up. I haven't leveled him up yet. Plus, that's very easy gems that I could be having. And I can spend them on getting more cards because this is not the last time you're going to see Dragonity. And this is not the actual deck I want to make. I have some cards that in Dragonity archetype that I haven't got yet. And if I got those, most likely I'll probably have even more of a higher win rate. Because the win rate is now around like 70 30 70 30 60 40 it's not 50 50 i don't break half the time i win more than half the time i should say so yeah this is the deck go ahead and run it if you need another look at the synchros you run three level sixes two level eights you can actually take out that level eight add in another level six most likely you might want to get two of this guy if you can if you don't have them just go ahead and throw this guy in or maybe you can find another combo I'll end it right there. It's been Chronic. I am out. And actually, this is not the right card. I am sorry about that. The level 8 is not the right card to use against Buster Blader. It is actually, and I can't believe I messed that up. It's Trident. Trident is the one where you send cards up to 3 from your control to the graveyard and send extra cards from your opponent's deck. So... Yeah, you might want to run Trident. He's very easy to go into if you want to run more Tributes. Or if you want to easily go into Trident, all you have to do is run this level 1 while you have Orma. Easy as that. Haven't really used this guy, though. So, might make a troll deck, you know, going after back row since everybody's running a lot of, like, the blue eye stuff. Might do it. Don't know yet. I'll leave it at that. 
So this is the deck. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Hopefully you can actually understand what I was saying half the time. I know I kind of talked a little bit fast and I kind of roll over my words. But um, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, if anything of this, if any of this helped, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to share the video around. Hit the notification bell if you're new here or if you haven't done it already to know if I make any new videos. And I'll see you guys next time with possibly, actually I really don't know yet. It'll be something random, but it's going to be one of the new archetypes, and I'm kind of looking towards Black Wings. So, I'll see you guys next time.